Today on the Extreme Channel, while we review this custom one-fourth scale carnage statue, I'm going to try and get hyped, get with the program, the flow, going to talk. This statue is sick, yo. It's dope. I can't pull that off, can I? To give back to you guys, the Extreme Channel is giving away this giant Goro statue from PCS for our 20,000 sub giveaway. If you want to know how to win this, I'll tell you a little bit later in this video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We have a lot to cover today with this one-fourth scale custom, means it's a private unlicensed commission carnage statue. So I'm really excited about this piece for multiple reasons. One is it comes from a group that I bought quite a bit from, and this is long sold out. I can't help you get it. And not only that, but they put something special in the box for one of the previous pieces I own from them. This piece right here, a highly sought after Venom piece. And I don't know if you can see it in the back, but that's where this guy is gonna go next to. I've actually already posted some pictures on the Extreme Channel Facebook and Instagram page. If you wanna see exclusive pictures like that before it hits YouTube, make sure to check that out. The link is in the description below. There's some crazy stuff going on with this carnage, not only from the group that produced it, but all the different switch out options. And we're gonna look at all that today. Believe it or not, this is actually the third carnage statue I've ever owned. I currently own the XM Studios one and I quite like it and I plan on keeping it. I used to own the Sideshow Premium format. I was never a big fan of that. And I have another custom one on order. We're gonna go with my symbiotes, which I don't know if you can see right behind me. And if you wanna see what all the symbiote pieces look like, make sure you not only like this video, but you've subscribed to the channel and you've hit that bell notification because in less than three weeks, we're actually launching an office tour. The members of the Extreme Channel YouTube page have already seen it actually, because they get early access. If you wanna know what that's about, hit the join button or look at the link in the description below. So enough of all that, let's dive in. And Carnage is an incredibly important character, not only in the Venom world, but soon to be in maybe the Marvel Cinematic Universe because Venom 2 features Woody Harrelson as Carnage which is supposed to be launched later in 2021, which I, for one, am really excited. I'm a big Woody Harrelson fan. I'm a huge Venom fan, obviously. I wasn't a huge fan of the first Venom movie, so I'm hoping they do it some justice in Venom 2. Now, if you're unfamiliar with who Carnage is, Carnage is basically an offspring of the original Venom character. So part of the alien suit or the symbiote actually merged and formed onto a serial killer. So while Venom is both a good and a bad character, Carnage is pure evil. And you can see a lot of that in this statue. So let's talk about that with the concept of this piece. Now, what they decided to do here is a little bit different than you typically see some Spider-Man villains. While it does look like he's on top of a statue or maybe a building, you have a Grim Reaper. And I like that because it adds to the evilness of the statue and the evilness of Carnage. So there's this really cool stone pedestal of almost a Grim Reaper on throne or a dark angel because it has some wings on the back and Carnage is crawling all over it. Not only is he crawling all over it, but his suit is everywhere. His suit and his tendrils are forming axe weapons, which he's really known well for. One of the things you see right here is he's actually formed his hand into an axe weapon. It's a typical Carnage thing to do. And he is leaping forward, very grotesque, very creature-like. And as I said, there are a number of different switch out options. You actually have five different portraits we'll look at during design, and they're all pretty creepy. You see the black aspect of the tendrils forming around his suit, and they're all over the back. I just love it. I think they did a great job capturing Carnage on this. You know, initially when I saw the renders, I was really excited. Then I kind of lost some of my excitement because it took a couple years for this to come out. But now that he's here in person, I absolutely love it. I think this is going to be one of the Carnage statues to go after, which is why I'm keeping multiple Carnage statues. Regarding concept, I like that it's a little bit different on the base. I like that they did the tendrils and the black symbiote full out. The assembly was a little complicated, which we'll see in a second. But I think the concept's a four out of five on this piece. Really impressed, I like it a lot. It's, it's different than the other Carnage pieces I bought or will own. Now let's look at the design. And first, let me get the dimensions for you. I love that he doesn't take up a huge footprint. So the widest point of the base is about nine inches and then add a couple inches on the sides for the tendrils. The depth is only seven, a little over seven inches, but again, add a little bit more for Carnage coming out the front and the back. And the tallest part is right at about right under 25 inches, about 24 and a half, somewhere in there, maybe a little bit shorter. The ax in the back might actually go up a little bit more. Now, before you watch the assembly, I had some trouble because the tendrils all connect different places. Now, because this is a custom piece, there weren't really instructions, so you had to figure that out. 
And also just a heads up during the assembly, I'm actually having a business meeting with somebody behind the camera about sales, so check it out. So it was actually a smaller box and didn't weigh that much, which was a pleasant surprise. Very cool art box on both sides. They had a picture of the statue with some different colors. And it actually came in white foam with straps, which isn't normal for custom pieces. It was two different layers. The first layer was essentially all the tendrils, uh, one of the portraits we're going to talk about later for a Venom piece. And then the second layer was Carnage, the portraits, and then some other pieces we will talk about. All right, so let's look at the switch out options. On his right hand, he has the ax, as you saw. I quite like this, this is probably the way I'm gonna do it, but I also like the non-axed hand, or just the normal hand. I really like how Carnage has those huge nails. Now, the first portrait we're gonna look at of the five is what I consider a regular Carnage head. Now, this one looks very similar to the one I have displayed on the XM Studios one. So I probably will not display it. Next is a transformation portrait. I like this a lot, but I'm probably not going to display this either. It really shows how crazy uh, the character of Carnage is. Then you have one that's really evil, and instead of more of a black mouth, he has pink and red. And this is very different. This is very creature-esque-like. I like this a lot. Then you have another comic modern adaptation of him with horns and no eyes. This one looks creepy as hell. Now, I probably won't display this because to me this isn't Carnage. And the one I'm shockingly going to display is kind of the redder mouth with the tongue. Now, I didn't expect to display this one because I traditionally don't like Carnage with the tongue. I think that's more of a Venom thing, but I'm a big fan of it. Now, you saw some other things in the box. Let me talk about those. So as I said, that other Venom piece that was made by this group, believe it or not, I have two or three other Venoms from this group. They actually included, for the people that bought the Venom, a display holder for the different portraits right here. Now, one of the portraits I don't have showing because I left it in the box because I wasn't a huge fan of it. But they also included a transformation head for the original Venom, just as a thank you to their customers. That was incredibly cool to me. Now, with design, I did have one small broken piece right here. However, it actually is where it inserts right into Carnage himself. So I didn't even see the physics of it. Actually, it looks like it's not broken anymore. Side note, too, this is pretty light. I mean, I'm guessing it only weighs about 30 pounds. Tendrils are some type of lightweight resin, so I have no leaning issues. Carnage and the base itself are of some decent weight. There's some polystone and some resin mixed in there. So I think they did a great job with the design. There is a small seam line. You can check it out right here, but nothing I'm going to lose sleep over. I don't know if I'm going to display this from the front like you see it here or like this. I'll have to figure that out. I give the design a four out of five as well. I think they pulled it off, looks really good. Now let's dive into paint and sculpt, and I, kind of a spoiler, I think they did a really, really good job. So check out the video. So I actually just want to start with some close-up video of the portraits for you guys. Now here's the one that I said kind of looks like XM. A similar feature they all have is the eyes are not white, but they have this gold paint on them. And I think it's more the sculpt than the paint, but it almost looks like it's layered or bunched up on there. I'm not a huge fan of that. I would have rather uh, chosen some white, but I love the reflection on this. I love the black symbiote. I like the black teeth. Sorry for the focus on this guy. There's some good. I like kind of the moist effect. And here's the, the portraits that I really didn't expect to like. So a lot of the same things going on with the eyes. I like the uh, tendrils in between the mouth, how it's a different uh, color, more of a pinkish tone. Has that awesome tongue in there. This portrait is probably my second favorite. Probably my least favorite is the transformation. Like I said, I like how maniacal it makes him look and they did a nice job on it. I like how there's uh, some uh, red symbiote even throughout his hair. I just have never liked a Carnage transformation portrait. I don't like the one on XM either. But they did a good job with the paint and the sculpt of it. 
Now here is kind of the crazy one. This is what I, I think a lot of people like because it's so different. And I believe there is some comic reference for this. But he has the traditional teeth, which is kind of cool. The devil horns and then the black part of the symbiote popping up in the back. Probably my third favorite. And then my favorite, the one I'm displaying, we'll start with that then kind of work around. Has kind of a combination of the things we were talking about. And not only does this particular one have that combination, but I like the fact the teeth are different. They're not the traditional black teeth. They did a great job with the tongue. Still uh, the appendages between the mouth right there. Still some of the things I'm talking about with the eyes. And the lighting in here is really bad for the eyes, but let's look at his body. I love the muscle. I love uh, the not only the anatomy of it, but it almost looks like, you know, Carnage, his tissue is almost like striations of muscle on top of that. And they gave it kind of this uh, glow moist effect, which looks really good. Now, one thing that's interesting is that effect isn't as prevalent on the tendrils that are turning into the axis. But I like how all over the body they have the black symbiote part, which has a little bit of a, a kind of a glistening effect as well. And just his position really makes him creepy, like we talked about in the concept. But they did a really nice job, paints really clean. I like how the axe is almost turning into an axe, so you move away from some of that uh, striation in the muscle we talked about, but they still have some of the black symbiote suit on it, and you can see it's uh, definitely sharp. Really impressed with all that. Now let's move down to the base here. I like the coloring. Uh, looks really good, the stone coloring they used, uh, the grays and whites, and uh, kind of this off green color almost. This, this You can barely see it in there. And then the Grim Reaper himself, with his hand out and his scythe right there. The wings on the back look fantastic. But you really don't notice the base on this piece. I mean, look as you move up you instantly go to Carnage and how badass he is. I, I would bet this would look great like him behind a Spider-Man piece back there. So eventually when I get the third custom uh, Carnage in, or the third Carnage piece, we're gonna do a uh, comparison video between this guy, XM back there, and the uh, museum one I have coming in. So fantastic job, really impressed with both the paint and sculpt on this piece. Really liking the paint on this carnage. I, I like kind of like how the muscle tissue almost looks like it has a gloss, and I think the black tendrils add to that. So I think the paint is incredibly clean as well. Um, the only thing, like I said, I don't like is the eyes on some of those portraits, how it looks a little caked on, but I don't think it's it's specifically meant that way, like I said. So I think it's a four out of five on the paint for this piece. Now regarding the sculpt, really impressed. I kind of jumped on the hype train to buy this because at that time I was buying everything from this group and I still buy quite a bit. Um, but I think they pulled it off well. I love the striations in his suit. I like the stone on the Grim Reaper down here. I love the portraits. Uh, I, I, I don't think it's perfect, but I will give it a five out of five on the sculpt. Really impressed. I like a ton of the sculpts coming from this particular group. So let's talk about value on this piece. Now they made 80, which is quite a high edition size, but this was highly sought after. I believe it's 80, I had to lift it up without dropping it. And it, it retailed at $1,000. Shipping was about 300 and it was express shipping, which really isn't that bad with what's going on in the world, but you're about $1,300 all in. You look at a 1-4 scale piece from other manufacturers, it's anywhere from 700 to about the same price all in. So I don't think the value is bad at all, at all. I definitely think I'll be able to get my money back if I ever sold it, I don't plan to. But because a lot of the options on this and how grotesque he looks, especially with the Venom 2 coming out, I think the value is gonna be a four out of five on this piece. I think you can definitely resell it for more money. So does this have the X factor? Is this a five out of five statue? I do like it better than XM Studios. I didn't think I would. Um, so I think it's definitely a four out of five. I don't know if it's a five out of five. Why don't you put that in the comments below? Do you think this is a four out of five or do you think it's a five out of five or do you think it's even less than that? Um, and that's kind of the overall score. When you look at this, is this cool, is this badass? I'm definitely a big fan of it. Even though you guys have seen the picture on Instagram and Facebook of him back there, I haven't taken that yet. So I'm really excited to see what that looks like. To win this Goro statue, first thing you gotta do is make sure you've liked this video, you've actually subscribed to the channel, and you've hit that bell notification. Second thing is leave a comment below and make sure it's a witty, entertaining, or funny comment. Because when we hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video, and the comment that has the most likes on it will be the winner of this Goro statue. 
So make sure your comment is entertaining to others and entertaining to Mr. X. Because if I like it, I'm actually going to pin it to the tops to help you get more likes. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to stay tuned. If you caught the Extreme Expo video at the beginning of the month, we have tons of cool stuff coming in right now. I think I have 16 different things with tracking numbers right now. So make sure to stay tuned. Hit that Mr. X logo to subscribe and drop me a like on your way out. I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.